welcome back everyone and welcome back to a new day how you guys been doing thank you very much for all the support and all help there i see from you i hope you enjoy uh, your day i hope you have a fantastic day that's my wish from my bottom of my heart and today folks we have my one of my favorite destroyer in this game yes this is zera channel's favorite destroyer and that it's a fletcher uh, the tier 9 US destroyer and this captain's name folks it's uh, oh man that's a hard one we'll just call it the, the this captain for uh, Mirko that's his clan's name but I'll just do it for, because his real captain's name that's a hard one to nail so uh, Mirko they will be for his clan I know he's a clan uh, uh, that's the clan name but anyhow this folks it's a uh, ice uh, Iceland's of ice it's a domination mode and what do you know we're going for uh, B now this captain is not alone it's a win Hindenburg the tier 10 uh, German uh, cruiser and he's already using the smoke you may be thinking Zara what's special about her well she's definitely a hybrid I'm talking about the Fletcher Mm, you're not pure 100% gunboat and you're not pure torpedo boat but the thing is what makes this uh, ship so damn strong none of the guns or the torpedo are bad I'm not saying that you will win a fight versus a Russian destroyer no uh, maybe if you are very very close, I mean stupidly close, maybe if you have like uh, four, five, six kilometers away, you maybe win that fight. Now this captain on the hand, he has this survivor expert which makes he receive a little bit more uh, HP pool and that is good and he has also radar position finder and that is also good. Why? Because it's the same... Um, how should I say uh, the module and the perks I do own because with this radio position finder you have a whole lot easier to know where the heck is the um, the closest stealthiest destroyer and with this radio in position finder folks I know it sounds kind of weird but you are Japanese destroyer hunter And let's face it, there are very few, there are very, very few ships that can detect you when you have a conceal, a concealment expert. It's basically only Yugomo and Kagero can spot you. Yes, not even Gehring, not even Shima, because you have even better concealment than them. Torpedo or... Well, it was not uh, never for the Izumo because even though they are great uh, torpedo they are not like stupid broken 16 kilometers or 15 and a half it's still uh, 10.5 but it's it's okay I mean remember the, the Japanese uh, destroy beside Shimakaze does not have uh, more range than 10 kilometers but they are definitely have the style so and very punchy uh, Japanese uh, um, torpedo but uh, the US Fletcher's upgraded one and gearing are not bad I'm talking about dealing damage and the best of all, of all are they are very very fast 66 knots and um, very stealthy uh, torpedoes And a 10 torpedo or not something uh, to be ashamed. As a matter of fact, it, it's pretty good. I mean, that's the thing that many people does not understand. That w when you're playing with high tier uh, US uh, destroyers, you don't need all 10 to hit to, del uh, to delete a Yamato full HP. No, you might be only need 6 or something and you will definitely delete that. Uh, Yamato you know and at least even though you will not be deleted but it will cause flooding and the flooding no captains will like to flood to that uh, use the damage control and then you can always pop your smoke and use your guns 
And even <laughs> one torpedo hit. <laughs> now I like these captains doing. You never g uh, want to send not all all time. I mean uh, the torpedoes uh, at the same time. But okay, there's one radar. Holy cow! There's someone radar us. Who could that be? No, it could not be the Minotaur. He has only a, a hydro, but he does not have uh, the radar. And we were never that close. And uh, what I like this uh, US Fletcher is sometimes you can just play a torpedo boat and it works fine. Now, personally, I do believe that um, destroyers are very crucial in this today's uh, smoke meta and sniping from a back meta. And the reason why I'm saying that is that. Uh, Today's uh, meta, it's that a lot of uh, high-tier uh, battleship can actually hit a target within 21-22 kilometers. And of course, they don't uh, need to stay uh, closer because why to uh, risk your ship when you can snipe someone at 22 kilometers? Unfortunately, that is the truth. But then if you're reversing or trying to snipe uh, uh, far away, a sneaky sneaky destroyer can come and give you a, a surprise of your life. Like that a torpedo dropped. And uh, yeah, if a smart Fletcher captain knows how to aim, and okay we detect those torps for our, maybe this is the Minotaur. It's very 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 hard to uh, kill a Fletcher with the torps. Uh, yesterday I played w with my uh, Fletcher and the aircraft carrier tried three times to, uh, uh, to torpedo drop me from different angles and did hit me only once uh, after three or four uh, trial. It's uh, not easy and that was a tier 9 uh, aircraft carrier. The US one, I kind of forgot what kind of name. Uh, anyway, or was the Japanese? It does not matter. It's, the thing is, I like about this uh, 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 ship, the Fletcher one. It's a very, very agile, very agile. You have rudder like there's no tomorrow. I mean, real damn good rudder. And we pretty, this captain pretty much know exactly where to aim. And uh, that torpedo, you see, you you can create a pretty tight. If you know how to aim a pretty tight torpedoes and uh, well make, make basically for someone in smoke impossible to dodge you see what I mean and and this is also kind of interesting and I don't know if you guys know or not the you can if you so wish and want create a very large big torpedo wall if someone several battleship are going uh, um, together then you can do that you know and you're always gonna hit something. Okay, Yamato 7.7, .7, one torpedo hit, two more torpedo hits, and goodbye, Minotaur. It was pretty e easy to delete that cruiser because um, it was in the smoke too long. Position with the uh, Royal Navy cruisers, everything. But if you're pretty much in the open, well, to be honest with you, the destroyer can actually uh, hard counter uh, counter you. I mean, if you are U.S. or Japanese destroyer. And now this Yamato, to be honest with you, he's also in the wa water. We have to keep in mind that our consume is 5.8, and we are 6.2. Which basically from this range of uh, folks, this dude, I'm talking about the Yamato, has very, very, very little to dodge. Oh, I know exactly why he's, he's, he wants to know if the Yamato is it's, um, it's changing course or not. But he's not changing course. He will eat at least three torpedo hits. Yes, sir. Three. And now he's using the gun because too flooding. And 
Okay, he's way too close. This uh, Yamato, I'll bet 100 bucks that he's doomed. Because the fires, if he will get on fire, that will stick. And he has too little and the torpedo are too fast to not delete it. He will eat all four, all five. Oh my god. Oh, you only need one. That's Yamato for you. Oh, he overextended. I mean, I'm not saying you not push, but when there's a destroyer nearby, folks, and you don't have any ally destroyer or aircraft carry or something. Uh, okay, that's <laughs> Yamato number two and Iowa. There's a smoke here, Yamato mister, and we are reloaded in just zero seconds. He can still dodge, but he has to do some maneuver right now. I mean, right now. Uh, slow down the speed or something. He Maybe he's doing that, you know. Maybe. Yeah. He did that. He slowed the speed up, so he did not uh, take anything. But the problem is that... <laughs> we killed the body! <laughs> Destroy <him> behind! <laughs> What a lucky torpedo hit and this 2.6 well you're toast now you cannot dodge there's no time to sp speed or maneuver or whatever this will be his end folks 2.4 it's way too close for this uh, Fletcher Torps five torpedo he didn't survive three uh, three flooding but everyone is engaging because everyone got, wants to get that kill <laughs> Yeah, that's the Yamato number two and one destroyer. So we have just like that, folks, three kills. And uh, now, now only aircraft carriers coming and we were spotted for just a couple seconds. Yeah, I don't blame this uh, chat. I understand. You see, when you are playing uh, aircraft carrier, especially tier 9, you kind of uh, need to protect your fleet. Because otherwise, if you don't do that, well, the enemy will come and get you. Okay, you go more. Okay, he's open fire. Oh, holy cow. Receive a huge damn hit. Mm? Yeah, we hit. We have. Yeah. What do you know? Double crack and serve. We got two of them. Um, a good aimer can DPM the crap out of you. So don't do that, man. Don't, don't try to uh, fight a Fletcher, even though there once uh, there was. Yeah, you can win that battle if two of your friends shooting at the same target. But if one on one, oh man. You, I don't think you, you're gonna uh, end up the only one who can actually uh, punish hard and I mean real goddamn hard uh, uh, Fletcher it's the Russian one like Kiev and Udaloy and of course also t uh, Trashkin but the thing is that uh, I know Hugo's rate of fire is not bad but come on guys that this captain was so good aimer he hit every single freaking time every salvo he hit he hit he hit I know it's only 1673, so this could uh, end up uh, either way. But don't be uh, foolish. At close range, it's easy for a Fletcher to hit you. It's not something hard. No, 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 it's not. And, and, and you know, if you have a lot of ships together, let's say two, at least two of them. To a view uh, versus one Fletcher, yeah, you might take that Fletcher down, but otherwise, no, 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 no. And I do believe that this game it's end of oh, folks 214,000 uh, damage done, 19 torpedo hits, 13 fires, and we received three fires. Uh, and the whole batches in the whole world. I'm talking about devastating strike, I talk about high caliber, I talk about confederate double. Uh, Double strike and one Kraken, and I do believe <laughs> I do believe it. Oh, 900, <laughs> 694. Oh man, we could not get. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good